Hello everyone, welcome to SFDC Ninja and I am back with another video of Apex Trigger series. In today's video, we are going to learn context variables in Trigger by a scenario. I will not explain all context variables in one video only. I will create multiple videos on it and try to show the use of context variables in code. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. By end of this video, you will understand what are context variables and in today's scenario we are going to use and learn about is before is insert is update and new context variables so coming to first question what are context variables let's understand by its definition a developer use context variable to access records that cause trigger to fire basically these are implicit variables contained in system trigger class which enables developer to access runtime context. But wait, what are implicit variables? Implicit variables are variables that you do not define. These variables are automatically provided by the framework. Now let's talk about context variables which we are going to use in our scenario. First is is before. Is before returns true if trigger executes in before events like before insert, before update, or before delete, or if trigger was fired before any record gets saved to database. Second is is insert. So it returns true if trigger gets executed because of insert operation. For example, let's say we are using is insert in our code and now we are inserting a record. So because of insertion of record, our trigger will get executed and in that case, is insert will return true. Similarly, is update returns true if trigger gets executed because of update operation. For example, is update is being used in our code and we are updating a record. So because of updation of that particular record, our trigger will get executed and in that case, is update will return true. Now the question arises then why we need this is insert, is update or is before context variables. Suppose you want to execute a piece of code only on before insert event. I mean before insertion of any record. Then you have to use is before and is insert inside if condition. Let's understand by code. Let's create a trigger on account object. Name it. Press trigger. For this object, we will select account, click on submit. Now let's add a system.debug. Set before insert event. Now you want this system.debug to be executed before insertion of record. For that, you just need to apply a if condition like this. If trigger dot is before and trigger dot is insert. Let's save it. Now this system dot debug will get executed only if both of these context variable returns true. To check our trigger, let's create a new account. Name it test account. Save it. Go to logs. Click on debug only. And see this system to debug has executed. Similarly, you can execute your code on any other event like before delete or before update. Also, it is always a best practice to write context specific code like this. Coming to next context variable trigger.new. Basically, trigger.new returns a list of new version of S object records. It means if your trigger is on account object, then it will return a list of accounts. Similarly, if your trigger is on contact, it will return list of contacts. 
and what does it return? If you are using before insert and before update, then it will return the records that are being inserted or updated and it holds the new value of records. Also trigger.new is only available in insert update and undelete operation. I mean it is not possible to have a new version of record after deletion of it. Now let's move to coding part and create our first trigger. Before writing code, let's understand the scenario first. So today's scenario is when an account is inserted or updated, then account billing address should automatically populate into account shipping address. We already have a trigger. Just remove these lines. The first important thing is that we cannot directly enter the values to field address because the address is split into street, city, state, postal code and country. That's why we have to enter values in all these fields. And second important thing is this trigger should execute before insertion and updation of record. Therefore, we have to use before insert and before update trigger events. We already have before insert. Let's add before update. Now it is the best practice to write context specific code. So we will apply a check. If trigger dot is before is insert and is update. I have used is before with is insert and is update context variable in or condition because I want this code to be executed before insertion or updation of record, not on any other condition. Now before iterating over trigger.new, let's apply a null check over it. New dot is empty. Now let's iterate over it. I have already explained about trigger.new earlier. trigger.new and now after iterating over it we will apply a null check over billing street and if it is not null then what we will do we will update the shipping street of that account by the value of billing street so let's apply a null check if c dot street not equals to null its value will get into shipping street. Similarly, we have to put value in city, state, postal code and country after applying a null check. Building city then what will happen? The value of billing city will get populated into shipping city. Similarly, for state, Also for postal code, and at last for country.
another important thing is if you are using trigger dot new in before events then you do not need to explicitly perform an update or insert dml statement when the trigger ends it will implicitly update the data the reason behind all of this is the record has not been created so nothing can reference it that's why nothing can update it if you will try to update this record by using dml then you will get an error for example if you will do like this then you will get an error click let's save it so let's check whether a trigger is working fine for before insert event for that create an account let's add some value to these fields one two three and here also now if a trigger is working fine for before insert event then this value should get populated here also click on save details so these values have come here which means our trigger is working fine for before insert event now let's check for before update event also let's update any value 456 let's save it and yes it is working fine for before update event also so that's it for today guys if you have any suggestion for me then please comment i am open to your suggestion thank you